Hello, my name is Dragan Akhmetovic, and my presentation will focus on touchscreen exploration of visual artwork for blind people. The authors of this work are Nahum Kwon and Uran O oh from Echo Women's University, and from the University of Milan, Christian Bernareggi, Sergio Maschetti, and myself. The ability to participate in the cultural life and appreciate art is included among the provisions of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. For people with disabilities, this provision is implemented by the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities, and in the United States by the Americans with Disabilities Act. The legislative framework upholds equal access to art venues and the ability for everyone to appreciate works of art. However, prior literature highlights that for blind people, accessible artworks are rarely available in practice. Traditionally, blind people can access visual art through tactile reproductions or through audio descriptions, which are conveyed using audio guide devices or during live tours. The tactile reproductions, however, are not available in all art venues, or when available, they're available only for a few selected artworks. Tactile reproductions also need to be specifically designed to effectively convey visual aspects of the artwork through surface height variations. They usually need to be crafted with special materials and using specialized tools, and they are often left unmaintained, which makes them prone to decay through prolonged use. Finally, the tactile elements are commonly complemented with braille descriptions which, however, can be read only by a small fraction of blind people. Audio descriptions instead are commonly designed to be experienced by sighted visitors while looking at an artwork. Indeed, they often prioritize details and curiosities about the artworks and the artists, but they lack a morphological description of the artwork, which makes the understanding of their structure difficult without sight. Furthermore, to use audio guides, visitors commonly need to input artwork codes or scan visual or proximity tags, which can be an obstacle for blind people. As a result, accessible guides and tools are rarely available, as they need to be specifically designed. Even when available, they're not interactive and inclusive to sighted visitors, since they are offered to blind people only. The approach proposed in our work is to leverage web-based touchscreen interaction coupled with verbal descriptions on commodity mobile devices in order to enable inclusive artwork appreciation for blind people and other art venue visitors. The idea is that by moving the finger on the touchscreen, the position of the explored areas can be conveyed through proprioceptive sensing. Concurrently, verbal cues can provide notifications about the presence of elements of interest at the explored areas and their descriptions. Thus, a blind person could understand the structure of the artwork image displayed on the touchscreen. A similar approach has been proposed to convey alternative text labels associated to different portions of a segmented image. In our case, however, instead of simple object labels, we propose the use of specific textual artwork descriptions derived from Descrivedendo, which is a methodology for the creation of accessible artwork descriptions through crowdsourcing. Descrivedendo descriptions are designed to convey morphological characteristics of an artwork, expliciting the artwork structure by conveying position and relationships between artwork elements. The descriptions also narrate aesthetical and visual aspects of the artwork, such as perspective, light, and color. The advantage of the proposed approach with respect to tactile artwork replicas and audio guides or tours are many. Using a web-based system accessible on commodity mobile devices enables widespread and cost-effective distribution. Furthermore, by using their own smartphones and tablets, users can benefit from their own accessibility preferences and settings. The proposed approach can be used at home or within art venues, and it is inclusive to both blind and sighted visitors. Finally, to produce accessible artworks, only a description and a segmentation of the artwork is needed. 
The design space of the proposed approach is vast. In this work, we focus on exploring two specific design dimensions. At what level to segment the artwork image elements and how to design the verbal descriptions associated to the segmented image elements. For this, we designed two interaction modalities. The first one, attribute-based exploration, has been defined to be similar to the previously proposed design for alternative text access for general images. In this approach, all elements of the artwork that were mentioned in the description are segmented. When a, se a segmented element is traversed with the finger, a corresponding short excerpt from the Descrivedenda description is read. The second interaction modality is called hierarchical exploration. It has been designed together with the Descrivedenda team involving art curators and experts in accessibility for people with visual impairments. After experimenting with the attribute-based modality, the domain experts propose to structure the exploration hierarchically. The first level of the hierarchy corresponds to the whole artwork and it presents the overview of the artwork. In this overview, we list the disposition of the key artwork areas extracted from the described in the description. After listening to the artwork overview, the key areas themselves can be accessed. These key areas correspond to the artwork's main subject, the second plane, and the background. Each key area, when traversed, provides a corresponding descrivedendo description of its structure. With a gesture, the user can start the exploration of the elements belonging to that specific key area. Each traversed element provides its full descrivedendo description, and it is not further subdivided. The user can return to the key area exploration with the same touch screen gesture. We implemented the proposed interaction modalities within a web application, and we performed a user evaluation with 10 blind participants. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we conducted the study remotely with participants accessing the web app from their own devices while telephonically instructed and supervised by one of the authors. We address two research questions. To which extent the two proposed approaches are appreciated by the blind people? And which of them is more appreciated and leads to better artwork memorability? To answer to these questions, we had the participants experiment in the two interaction modalities. And through follow up questionnaires, we assessed whether they considered each modality easy to access, understandable cognitively demanding, useful, interesting, captivating, and exhaustive. Furthermore, we measured the duration of the exploration and the memorability score, defined as the level of details of the artwork remembered by the participants. We analyzed the subjective metric scores between the two modalities, and we discovered that attribute-based exploration is considered easier to access. Instead, Hierarchical exploration is considered to be more understandable, useful, interesting, and captivating. Both modalities registered low cognitive demand scores. They also did not differ significantly in the perceived exhaustiveness. Yet, considering the memorability score, hierarchical exploration was significantly better. Participants also explored the artwork for longer time with the hierarchical modality. The overall better scores indicate that the design of the hierarchical modality, which was proposed together with domain experts, is more effective than the approach based on prior literature that was designed for generic alternative text image presentation. Direct comparisons between the two modalities along the identified metrics confirmed the subjective scores and the overall prevalence leans toward hierarchical exploration. Nonetheless, two participants were undecided and other four who selected the hierarchical modality actually reported to be mostly undecided between the two. Quotes from the participants unveil additional findings. Two of the participants highlighted the similarity between touchscreen artwork exploration 
and tactile reproductions that are sometimes available in art venues. Participants also highlighted that individual preferences and education strongly influence the favorite interaction modality. However, all participants stressed that both modalities were useful and they complemented each other to discover different aspects of the art park. The order in which participants suggested that the two modalities should be accessed, however, varied. In particular, in most cases, the suggested order was the same experienced by the participants, which might indicate the presence of a priming effect. For future investigation will be needed to better understand the effects of order between the two exploration modalities and the impact of the single design dimensions considered, which are the segmentation approach and the description verbosity on the artwork accessibility and appreciation. Comparative evaluations with tactile reproductions will also be conducted in actual art venue scenarios. And we will also investigate crowdsourced and automated image and description segmentation. In conclusion, we propose two interaction modalities to support web-based exploration of artworks to touch screen access coupled with verbal feedback. The proposed interaction modalities were appreciated by the participants who reported benefits in using the two interaction modalities in sequence. Additionally, attribute-based exploration which was based on prior design for generic images was considered easier to access. Instead, hierarchical exploration designed with domain experts was perceived to be more engaging and it was shown to improve artwork understanding. Thank you.